If you've ever done a deep dive into San Pedro cacti, chances are you've encountered the term PC San Pedro or PC Trichocereus. This mysterious plant is often sought after for its ornamental beauty, but has caused quite a stir among experts and hobbyists alike and is a source of quite a bit of controversy. But what exactly is PC Trichocereus, and why is it so significant? In this video, let's delve into its history, appearance, and the unique characteristics of this plant. What does PC mean exactly? No, a PC San Pedro is not a politically correct cactus, it's what is called the predominant cultivar. Predominant meaning the most frequent or common, and cultivar meaning a plant variety that has been produced by selective breeding. So, the PC San Pedro is just the most common and widespread variety of San Pedro cactus that exists in the United States. It doesn't make it any better or worse than other cacti, it is just very popular. To make a long story short, no one is exactly sure what the origins of the PC San Pedro are. Controversies and debates have sparked among experts about its classification and origin, and many emphasize the need for DNA testing to settle these discussions. Some experts think it's closely related to a collection made by Friedrich Ritter, known as Trichocereus Ryomsquensis. But again, without DNA testing, these claims remain speculative. So why do people want the PC San Pedro so much? Why has it become the predominant cultivar? People really love PC San Pedro because it thrives in various conditions, is resistant to drought and overwatering, is a fast grower and quick to propagate, it forms a lot of offsets, it makes great grafting stock, and it has value as an ornamental plant in landscapes. People dislike PC San Pedro because there remains a lack of clear origins for this plant, some say that it's not a true pachinoi because it doesn't always have the pronounced V notching and because it displays white hairs instead of brown, contradicting flower morphology from many textbooks. It's even been called pacha knot because of a speculation from a botanist named Keeper Trout. Lastly, some say it's overrated because it has become so popular. Either way, it's generally accepted and labeled as San Pedro, and that's what you can expect to find at your local garden centers. Now that we have a background on PC Trichocereus, let's take a look at the physical characteristics for identifying this plant. PC San Pedro are light to dark green to potentially glaucous blue in color with towering columns that can quickly reach 10 to 20 feet tall. They have a medium thickness in the spectrum of Trichocereus with a sawtooth rib profile to them. Their spines are on the shorter side and tend to be golden brown to grayish. They have a tendency to form many offsets or branches from their base, and they have white flowers with white hairs, different from Trichocereus pachinoi, which tend to have black or brown hairs. Context is always important to keep in mind because these features can vary based on the conditions of the plant. You may or may not see certain features, but the most reliable indicators are going to be flower morphology and a reliable source. Now that we know how to identify PC San Pedro, what are considered non-PC? Non-PC San Pedro are any pachinoi that are seed grown, other trichocereus species such as Brigesi, Peruvianus, or Scapulicola, including hybrids, and land race varieties of San Pedro such as Huancabamba and Chauvin de Hunter. The best characteristics to assess as non-PC are going to be prominent view notching, differences in spine color, spine length, and ultimately, flower morphology. As the predominant cultivar, PC San Pedro holds appeal for its adaptability, rapid growth, and ornamental beauty, despite uncertainties about its origin and classification. Remember to approach discussions with an open mind, and rely on reputable sources for information. If you like this video, please let us know in the comments, and subscribe to our channel for more information on all things San Pedro.